and upset, angry and upset and determined. The United States Congress can keep Roe versus Wade the law of the land. They just need to do it. I, I've never seen you so angry. You seem to be. This is what the Republicans have been working toward this day for decades. Angling for for decades now, and we are going to fight back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so once again, we got to cover another epic meltdown from the radical progressive left in response to the leak from the Supreme Court that they're going to be overturning Roe v. Wade. And this time, the epic meltdown comes from no other than Miss Anna Kasparian of TYT, who uh, basically lost her cool. Uh, while discussing uh, the potential impact of this upcoming decision from the Supreme Court. And let's just say uh, she could not handle it very well. Take a look. We don't even have paid family leave. We don't even have affordable child care in this freaking country. Okay, and the people who fight against those kinds of laws are Republicans. And yet- What do you want them to do with their kids when they have to go to work? What do you want them to do? What do you want them to do? I want them to answer that freaking question. Answer the question. Journalists, ask them the question. Ask them. Ask them. Isn't it amazing? God damn, ask them the goddamn question. God. Isn't it, isn't it amazing that not one Democrat has shown 1% of the passion that Anna has today? They don't care. They They're don't fine. care. They're they don't fine. They don't care. They're They're to worry about it affecting them and if they're young enough where it would affect them they'll get their abortion they're gonna okay? fly to they're Paris. trading individual stocks enriching themselves they're good they're good they don't care about you <laughs> make sure you understand that and you feel it in your bones they don't care about you at all all of that fundraising all of that canvassing, all of that hard work on the ground, they can't even get a voting rights bill passed. They're losers. Trisha Briggs writes in, thank you, Anna, for communicating this momentous injustice and the rage we're all feeling today. <laughs> oh man, they're right. The uh, Democrats are losers, but that's probably the only thing that they're right about. And, and guys, one of the reasons why I do these response videos to these leftist meltdowns, uh, especially shows like TYT, is because th they claim to be an outlet uh, that only gives facts, right? It's not opinions, it's not misinformation. But yet, in this segment, it is clear to me that they're playing off of their audience's ignorance in regards to what Roe v. Wade actually does. Did you guys catch that moment where Sink said that the Democrats who don't care about Roe v. Wade uh, possibly being overruled um, you know, when they go and get their abortions, they'll just fly to Paris. As if Roe v. Wade being overturned is going to ban abortions in America. And that's just simply not true, right? It's not even close to the truth. Uh, the issue goes back to the states, okay? And it, it really is sad because I, I don't think that a lot of Americans, particularly those on the left that are so against Roe v. Wade being overturned, um, I don't think they actually really understand what Roe v. Wade actually does, okay? I, I don't think they actually really do. And I think that's why the poll numbers are so favorable towards keeping Roe v. Wade, right? And the reason why is because I think that they believe that Roe v. Wade being overturned is going to make abortion illegal, period, in the United States. And again, that's just not true, right? It's just not true. People who want to get an abortion, right, if Roe v. Wade is overturned, will be able to get an abortion in these blue states, that will offer it on demand, right? They will be able to do that. In fact, some of these blue states are going to go as far as to help people from red states travel to those states to get abortions. So the leftist meltdown over this, it's really kind of insane to me. It really is. I don't understand. I don't think all that much is really going to change, right? Except there will probably be less abortions, okay? Uh, but I think everybody can agree that's a good thing. And the people that actually really do want them, that actually like, are like, okay, I cannot have this child, right? I will do whatever it takes not to have it. Um, <laughs> we'll probably go to a blue state to go and get one, okay? Which, you know, with that being said, if you really didn't want to have one that bad, then you probably just shouldn't have got pregnant in the first place, okay? Which brings me to my point in regards to answering Anna Kasparian's questions that uh, she has for people that are 
uh, pro Roe v. Wade being overturned, right? Well, what are all these parents going to do, right, with their, that don't want to have kids, right, that are now forced to have kids, okay? You know, child care in this country is unaffordable, right? There's no government forced parental leave, okay? Uh, daycare is expensive. What do you want them to do? What do you want to do? It's an impossible situation, right? That's the way she frames it. And again, this is the flaw in the progressive thinking in their logic. Everything to them, right? Anybody's bad decisions is now the responsibility of the government and the rest of society to make up for that, right? That, that's the way she thinks. Because again, when it comes to things like paid parental leave, right? I'm for that, right? I'm for companies offering that. But am I necessarily for the government forcing them to do that? No. But I think we should push companies to offer more benefits to families, okay? I think that's a good thing. But again, I'm not for the government forcing it. Am I for affordable daycare and affordable childcare? Yeah, absolutely. But am I for the government taking over daycare? No. And part of the reason why is because we all know what happens when government takes over uh, child care, right? Just look at our public schools, okay? It's terrible, right? Terrible outcomes happen to these kids, okay? So when you think about the cost of taking care of a kid in this country, right? Uh, it's about $15,000 a year according to estimates in 2021. So that doesn't even count. It doesn't even count the inflation, right? That has occurred in 2022, which is driving up the cost of taking care of kids, okay? Makes childcare more expensive, right? And less affordable. But Anna Kasparian doesn't seem to be as concerned about inflation and the impact that that's having on families and their ability to take care of their kids, okay? Because she's one of these progressives that advocated for Democrats to spend as much as possible when it came to the last stimulus package, right? The last stimulus package that arguably has contributed the most to this inflation that we're experiencing, right? If the progressives had it their way, they would have spent five, six, maybe even 10 trillion plus dollars on a stimulus. So guys, imagine if progressives had it their way last year in terms of spending. What do y'all think inflation would be at today, <laughs> right? It'd be a whole lot higher, okay? Childcare would be a whole lot more expensive, okay? If Anna Kasparian had it her way, okay? So that being said, what Anna really is missing here, and to answer her, her question about, well, what do you want these parents to do, okay? Uh, well, the answer to that question is simple. It, it just comes back to personal responsibility. If you can't afford to have kids, then don't have them, right? If you can't afford to have kids, don't have them. And if you do end up having them, then you got to make sacrifices to take care of them like everybody else, okay? If you are a two-parent household, hey, Maybe one parent got to stop working, okay? Maybe uh, kids got to be taken care of by their grandparents. Uh, maybe you have to do things in order to uh, work out a situation in which the child is going to be taken care of, okay? Maybe you got to, again, go on less vacations, take less trips to afford to pay for daycare, right? Those are the things that you got to do. Uh, but again, that comes down to personal responsibility, right? Because at the end of the day, um, just because there's no government mandated uh, parental leave, okay, or government-run daycare, that is not an excuse to take a life, right? It's not an excuse to take a life. What the government does is not an excuse to take a life, okay? At the end of the day, if those things are so important to you, then you should have thought about that before you lay down and open up your legs and, and, and had a child, right? It's very simple. Don't have a kid if you can't afford it, right? Take some personal responsibility. You have all the contraceptives in the world, okay? You got birth control, you got condoms, you can just not have sex. And if all that fails, right? If all that fails, you even got the day after pill, which some people do consider to be a form of abortion. But you got all that, so there's no excuse to have a kid if you're just being responsible, right? If you're engaging in responsible behavior, then you won't have one. But see, what the progressive left wants, and this is their fatal flaw, is that they think that the government should have to pay for people's bad decisions and the choices that they make, right? And, and that's a part of the problem. That's why you have so many of these people that despite all the options that we have out there that can prevent you from having kids, they still choose to do it anyways, okay? Because they know, well, push come to shove, if I end up going through with it, then I can just hit the eject button <laughs> at the last minute. Uh, or... You know what? If I do go through with it all the way, then, hey, the government's just going to pay for it, right? The society, the taxpayer is going to foot the bill, even though I had this kid knowing that I couldn't afford the kid, okay? And that brings up a very, very, very 
uh, important point. Right. That, hey, you know what? Maybe if you want to prevent some of these people who are having these kids that shouldn't be having them uh, from having them, maybe you should take away some of that government assistance. Right. Maybe you should be advocating for more uh, Republican like policies. Right. Maybe you should, because then at that point they will know that, well, if I had this kid, uh, the government's not coming to help me. Right. The government is not going to be there to support me. But see, that will require an understanding of personal responsibility and, and consequences for your actions, which that's something that the progressive left, they just simply don't believe in. Yeah, to answer Anna's question, is it's really simple. What are these women and families supposed to do? Just don't have kids in the first place, right? Take birth control, uh, make sure you're financially stable before having kids, you know, get married, you know, have a plan, right? I mean, it's really that simple because at the end of the day, just because the government is not forcing paid parental leave on companies or there's no universal government run daycare that's not an excuse to take a life it's not okay uh, and i don't know why the progressive left they, they keep trying to roll out this argument that well you know since the right is against abortion then you guys need to be for policies that help parents take care of their kids you need to be for policies that uh force taxpayers to pay for other people's mistakes <laughs> and it's like no 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 that's not how it works right uh, what conservatives are for uh, is simply, like I said, personal responsibility, not making those mistakes in the first place, especially considering that we live in a society where these mistakes are completely avoidable, right? And if you happen to make those mistakes, you just can't press the eject button and say, hey, you know what? <laughs> that was a mulligan, right? I didn't get a mulligan on that, right? That's not how it should work. Sometimes people have to live with the consequences of their decisions, okay? that That's just what it is. So yeah, with that being said, the answer to the question is simple personal responsibility but again people like anna kasparian sink yogurt <laughs> they don't believe in that stuff okay they believe in taxpayers paying for everybody else's bad decisions okay and they think that people should be able to just get out of the bad decisions they make even if that involves taking a life okay that, that's what they they believe right so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace